You've been told that vitamin D is the key to strong bones, right? But what if I told you that high doses of it might actually be putting your health at risk? Stay with me, because in this video, we're revealing the shocking truth about vitamin D and how you can avoid the risks. Welcome to Stronger Bones with Algae Cup. We're about to blow the lid off some shocking new research that's forcing doctors to rethink everything they thought they knew about vitamin D and bone health. And trust me, you'll wanna hear this. But before we get started, go ahead and tap that subscribe button down below. This way, you'll always stay in the loop with the latest advice to help you build strong, healthy bones. I've also got a free resource packed with tips to help you build stronger bones. And I'll give that to you in just a moment. But first, let's get started on the dangers of vitamin D. A recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association just dropped a bombshell on vitamin D. A team of researchers from the University of Calgary conducted a three-year clinical trial with 311 healthy adults. They wanted to see if high doses of vitamin D were as good for your bones as everyone said it was. And here's what they found. Participants who took either 4,000 IUs or 10,000 IUs of vitamin D daily saw a statistically significant decrease in bone density compared to those who took the lower doses. Let that sink in for a moment. Higher doses of vitamin D, the very thing that's supposed to help you strengthen your bones, actually weakened them. And just to be clear, this wasn't some fringe study. This is one of the most credible randomized clinical trials ever conducted on vitamin D. So if you're taking a daily dose of 4,000 IUs of vitamin D or more, you might wanna think twice because it could be having a negative impact on your bone density. And that's not the only problem. New research from John Hopkins University found that high doses of vitamin D aren't just useless, they could actually put your health at risk. Published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, the study tracked 688 adults for two years. Participants were given a daily dose of either 200 IUs, 1,000 IUs, 2,000 IUs, or 4,000 IUs. And guess what? The people taking 2,000 to 4,000 IU daily didn't just fall more often than those who took lower doses, they also fell harder. And in a lot of those cases, those falls landed them in hospital. Dr. Lawrence Apple, the lead researcher, said it best. People think if a little bit is helpful, a lot will be better. But for some vitamins, high-dose supplements pose more risks than benefits. Think about that for a second. The more vitamin D you take, the greater your risk of falling. And these falls, they're not just minor bumps, they can actually result in fractures and long recoveries, and even life-changing injuries. And while the researchers from John Hopkins didn't explain why vitamin D causes more falls, a review in the European Journal of Applied Physiology could shed some light on it. Researchers found that excessive vitamin D may lead to imbalances in calcium and phosphate metabolism. As a result, muscle strength and coordination start to suffer, making falls more likely. So the message from the researchers is clear. When it comes to vitamin D, more is definitely not better. And there's something else that's dangerous about high doses of vitamin D, and it's even worse. But just before we get to that, I wanna make sure you've got a copy of this. It's called the Smart Women's Guide to Healthy Bones. This free 33-page guide is packed with proven natural strategies to increase your bone density and keep your bones strong for life. Thousands of women have already downloaded it and are seeing incredible results. Want to join them? Just click the link in the description and I'll send it straight to your inbox. It's completely free and trust me, you'll wish you had this sooner. All right, now let's get back to why high doses of vitamin D are dangerous. A recent review published in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology examined 437 studies on high dose vitamin D. And here's what the research team discovered. Daily doses of 4,000 IU and higher aren't just ineffective, they could actually be damaging your heart, kidney, arteries, and even your brain. It seems that over-supplementing with vitamin D isn't merely ineffective, it's dangerous. And that's because of the ripple effect. Most people don't know this, but as your vitamin D intake goes up, so does your body's demand for other key minerals. For instance, you're probably aware that vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium. But what you might not know is that to use that calcium correctly, your body also needs magnesium. And without enough magnesium, calcium can end up in places where it shouldn't, like in your arteries. A high daily dose of vitamin D without a balanced amount of magnesium can result in kidney stones, strokes, and even heart attacks. 
Pretty bad, right? But here's why it gets tricky. You shouldn't take a lot of magnesium either because that can cause problems too. The general rule of thumb is that for every 1,000 I use of vitamin D, you need around 100 milligrams of magnesium. So if you took, say, 10,000 I use of vitamin D, you need to balance that with 1,000 milligrams of magnesium. And you simply can't take that much magnesium in a day. It's dangerous. The National Academy of Medicine recommends an upper limit of 350 milligrams. Any more can lead to side effects. Like everything else in life, when it comes to nutrients, balance is key. And it's never a good idea to overload on any one nutrient. So have you been taking high doses of vitamin D? Bad idea. The latest research says it can increase your risk of falling and decrease bone density. So if you're after a vitamin D that's safe, balanced, and actually does its job, check the description below. Also, don't forget to grab your free copy of the Smart Women's Guide to Healthy Bones. Thousands of women are already using it to take control of their bone health and you can too. And before you go, please tap that subscribe button so you never miss another video packed with tips to support your bone health. Thanks for watching. And remember, bone loss is not inevitable. Thousands of people have found a way to increase their bone density. You can too.